In this video, I'm going to record my problem. Actually, what I want is this. Let me open up my Excel. Let's say if I start with $2,000. When I see a trade signal equals 1, then I buy. Okay, then I buy at the open price of this day. Number 8. Okay, 11.5 times the contract size 100. I just set all the lot size per order is just one lot. So I'm just buying 100 shares at 11.5 because I see a trade signal equals 1. When I see the trade signal equals 1, I buy, right? So my position delta, which is this one, equals positive 1. I only need to spend 1150 and at the beginning of the day I have $2000 so at the end of the day I have $2000 minus 1150 so it's um 850 at the beginning my position is zero because I have no stock and at the end I have one stock so up until day 20 I see a signal negative the trade signal negative one so i have to sell it i sell it at the opening price which is 14.5 at the beginning of the day i have one lot of shares so i can sell 100 shares so when i sell it the position delta is negative one and i'm selling at 14.5 dollar for 100 shares at the beginning of the day i have 850 so after i sell 100 shares at 14.5 i got 1450 more so 850 plus 1450 equals 2300 at the beginning of the day i have one lot of share 100 shares and after i sold it i got zero it's very easy in excel but i can't do it in my Python script. I just read from the Excel. I just show you. And I just create two classes. One is the signal. And the other one is the portfolio. Portfolio is just the one. It's basically all these parts. This is the portfolio class. And what I got is this one. From day seven, I see a trade signal. Sorry is trade day number eight so i'm going to buy uh, 100 shares at 11.5 for upon five dollars so it's this one that's the projected trade amount what it means is when i see the trade signal equals one which is this one trade signal equals one i buy shares at the opening price so i buy so it's the trade signal which is a positive one times the lot size the lot size is here it's only one i just set it to one for simplicity and it's multiplied by the contract size which is here contract size 100 shares per lot and then it multiplies by the set uh, by the price and the price is here it's defined here in inside the class portfolio self dot price open which is here because i have to pay 1150 but I have to check whether I have enough cash. So for trade day number seven, I mean, it's okay if I set it to 2000. But when I set it to 1000, I expect, oh boy, I don't expect to see negative number here. Let's say if I start off with $1,000 and from day eight, I have to pay 1150 
So I shouldn't have enough money, right? Yeah, if you have zero leverage, if you don't borrow money, you shouldn't execute the long order. You shouldn't buy any stock. But I got a negative number here, which I can. Okay, let me change it here. One thousand. If I change my initial cash, the startup capital capital to one thousand, I have no change at day eight. Even if I got a buy signal, because I don't have enough money to buy it, right? The opening balance states one thousand dollar, and okay, on the twentieth day, even if I have a sell signal, the trade signal equals negative one, I shouldn't sell anything because I didn't buy anything before. But end up I got a negative number here, which is not correct. So I've tried while loops so many ways, but I still can't figure it out. Out. So, um, hopefully, if you know the answer, feel free to share with me. Okay, thank you very much. Bye bye.